Jack Ely, don't get upset. I'm not here to hurt you. Look away. You know there's a mirror here, right? What do you want? There's a couple of people say you're a pretty good detective. That's a lot of work. I want you to help me with this case. My profession's very complicated. It's very nuanced. Well, look who decided to show up for class. Los Angeles, 1937. There are lots of guys like J.J. Gittes. They're easy to find, if you want to find them. Mr. Gittes, have we ever met? Well, no. Never? Never. Since you agree with me that we've never met before, you must also agree with me that I've never hired you to do anything, certainly not spy on my husband. Most mornings, I'm about as worthless as a park bench in hell. Usually don't start thinking straight till I get a couple cold ones in me. I know you found her. I know you feel responsible, but you're not in this. You shouldn't be fiddling around with some dead girl's phone. I think what Kelly is trying to say is that you are no longer a cop. Don't tell me what I'm trying to say. This is important to me. I'd like to find out who killed your daughter. What's your rate? You never really know with this kind of 2,500 a week. Be all right? Just waking up, Steve. Let's go. Hurry up. It's not my fault. Just shut up and run. Hold it right there. Ah! Harry was a small-time crook. Oh, boy. Till he opened the door. Oh, no, no. We're not ready for your audition. Just take him. He's ready. You ready, right? To a really big break. Quit acting like the good guy. You got your partner killed. You killed him. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. Old school method. Give me Gabe Perry on the phone. But he'll need a real cop. Detective lessons tomorrow for your acting. Oh, you're the uh, consultant. If he wants to act the part. You must be Gay Perry. Still gay? Me? No. I just like the name so much. I can't get rid of it. Bang, bang. So what do you do? I'm a private detective. 